Hey, it's your girl Susie. We're here at the Industry Takeover. And today we got to let the people know who you are and what you do. Oh, yes, ma'am. The name's DJ Prodigy, DJ Extraordinaire, manager, A&R, you know, a lot of different hats, but just a cool ass nigga. Jack of all trades. Oh, master of none. <laughs> <laughs> so, with three words, how would you describe your flow, your music, um, how you, what you play? Man, I'm just here for the people. Like, I know that was more than three words, just here for the people. Yeah. We're going to put the people together. <laughs> For the people, for the people. Always. <laughs> my thing is, is like when we in a club, if you ain't rocking with the people, they ain't rocking with you. So at the end of the day, I'm just here to provide a vibe, a good time, something that people connect to, and just we just gonna vibe out and have a good fucking time. Out of all your talents, which one's your favorite to do? I'm just not like being behind the scenes. Like the DJ and shit's cool. I'm not comfortable in the spotlight, but um, I like being behind the scenes. Like I do a lot of shit just here and there, like websites. Uh, graphic design, management, management, A&R, A&R, so I'm tapping in with a lot of stuff. Who are you excited to see tonight? I would say the speaker box, but this motherfucker ain't getting up there and doing nothing. I might. Oh, so y'all heard it. He finna get up and do right. something tonight. It's because Prodigy's here. There's, you got to. You got to. <laughs> it's only right. No, it's Look, you got to now. Yeah, it might mean yes to me. So if you say I, you might. I take that as a yes. Oh, so do I. You ain't got a choice. Who would you like to work with that you haven't um, from San Diego? Uh, let me think. Demi Dago, Dago Flats. Okay, oh, Rick I Scales. Like Dago Flats, first and fifteenth, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Rick Scales is dope as hell too. Like I would love to tap in with him and do a lot of shit with him. Like I think that cat can go far. And you know what? This is the place to do it at. Y'all need to come over. This is a place. Uh, it's a melting pot where you can network people like you, oh, yes. you know. So if you're not here, you're missing out. Uh, uh, look, every Thursday, every first Thursday. Every first Thursday. Industry Thursdays. Be here, I promise you, it's the hottest fucking place in town. It's a place to be regardless if you're like, again, like you're an A&R, an engineer, an artist, even like a videographer, it's a yeah. place to network. Yeah. So besides music, what's, uh, what's another hobby you enjoy? Like the music industry. Within the music industry. No, no, like since you do so much in the music industry. So outside of it. Yes. Uh, I'm a big ass computer nerd. Like, okay. I can build you a server. I can re-network your entire house. Like, if your internet is slow as shit, yeah. holla at me. I promise you, I haven't fastened anything out here. Oh, that's dope. All right. And he's international. And oh, Mr. International. Okay, so where have you gone and what do you do? Uh, I've literally DJed all over the world. Started out DJing in Europe, um, left there, went to Japan, DJed out there for like three years. Moved back here in 2012 and been rocking it between coast to coast since I've been back. Who have you worked with that was international? As far as artists goes or uh, DJs? Anybody. Mr. Uh, international. So as far as artists goes, Neo, Jay Holiday, uh, Big Sean, uh, fuck, Big Mike from Day 26. As far as DJs, a lot of American people won't know them, but uh, DJ Septic, DJ Bazaar, they're two Grammy Award winning uh, DJs out in Europe. I met them when they were like struggling trying to make it like I am. Oh, now they're producing for like Vibe Cartel, Movado, shit like that. So, see, that's a beautiful thing. See, if you're not, if you're not here, you're missing out for great opportunities like this. You know, San Diego has, it's a beautiful place, beautiful people, a lot of hidden talents. People from all over just coming here to tap into the local community, yes. the local artists. Like, if you're not from San Diego, this is one of those spots, like, if you want to get into L.A., come tap into San Diego. Because so many people blow up here and then move to L.A. Right. And a lot of people in L.A. don't realize a lot of talent is coming from San Diego. Yes, like, it's likewise. coming from the border on up. From the border. Speaking of the border, we got... You know, little Drifo, he's from the, he's by the border. He's actually from my neck of the woods, too. <laughs> from down south. Um, so, the people want to know, what was the last song you bumped in your car? <laughs> Look, this is going to sound cliche as hell. California Dream in the speaker box. Real talk. Uh, yeah. California Dream in the speaker box. And what's crazy is he got his new song out, uh, Look at the Sauce, but I'm still bumping California Dreaming. My bad, I like California Dreaming better. California Dreaming by Speaker Box. See, I don't think you realize it. This is a chance to, this is a chance for you to bump in. Mr. California Dreaming. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey, I love y'all. DJ Prodigy, that's my manager, that's my brother. I fuck with him ten toes down. Fuck oh, with him, you. you fuck with me, my nigga. Ah.
<laughs> what is the um, what's one pro and a con being in the music industry? Um, a pro and a con. A pro and a con. The pro I would say is like being able to meet so many different people. Like it's cool. Like people you didn't even know or you don't think you'll vibe with, and you'll figure out just by the love of music. Like y'all on the same level, you meet on the same level, and like it's all love. I think the biggest con is it in it. There's too many gatekeepers and not a lot of people trying to like help the next generation. Cause I've met a lot of people and they're just like, oh, it's hip hop. I'm all Mr. Hip Hop and this, I'm gonna stick with this hip hop. Like the mumble rappers, I grew up in a lyricism age. I love lyricism, but I still fuck with the mumble rappers. Like that shit goes hard in the club. I can't play common in the club. You can't play beat. No. I can't play lyricism in a club. It don't bump. No. But it's all about setting, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, like and and, and then your audience, knowing your audience. And I'm sure you know that because you are a DJ. Yeah, hip hop is not a monolith. Like we go all over the fucking place. You can go lyricism, you can go bumping, you can go rep for the tribe. Like you don't have to be in this one box because people want you to be in there. Like yeah. if if you find just find your own lane, find your own niche. And run with that shit. Stay true to yourself, and I promise you, you'll build a fan base around it. There's something for everybody. Great advice. Uh, what would be three essentials during a studio session? Three essentials of studio sessions. Uh, stay away from the recreationals. Like, real talk, like, being an artist is a business. So, and studio time costs money. So, stay away from the recreationals. Be on your business shit. Like, come in knowing what you're going to do. Put down your tracks. And just be professional about it. Like sometimes everybody's human. People get frustrated. So you're gonna be in there. Your engineer might be frustrated. You might be frustrated. Just remember, we all people. We all got feelings. Like keep it professional. Keep it moving because you burn a bridge in this industry. It's done. You burned everything. Sadly, I love how those are like subjective um, essentials versus you know more of like a materialistic yeah. objective. You know, most people don't really. One did say vibes, would you like that? But no, for real, you gotta take the studio time. That shit is really serious. Yeah. Super serious. You gotta, you gotta be um, very professional about it. Yeah, you, you're talking about like hundred dollars to three hundred dollars an hour for a studio session for a really good studio. So if you like, for all you artists that don't know. These bigger artists, the Drakes, the all of them, most of these cats' budgets are burned in the studio. And probably the other dumb shit that they buy, but most of their budget is burned in the studio. Like, these record labels are renting out studios for like five, six months to create an album, and it's their studio all day, every day for six months. So you're talking about what turn, what's $100 an hour turns into like half a million dollars in six months. And you only got, Think what? A three million dollar uh three million dollar advance or three million dollar yeah three million dollar advance so you blew half a meal just sitting in the studio if you in there smoking drinking just having a party you gotta pay that shit back yep. so if you ain't got no money coming in how you gonna pay that back just saying. numbers baby like larry june baby numbers <laughs> hey money runs the world money runs the world uh, so it's cuffing season and the ladies want to know, are you taking or taking applications? I'm totally taking. Look, if I said I was taking the application, my girl killed everybody in here. <laughs> she come to air this whole motherfucker out. It's all good because a lot of these fellas that are in the industry are taking. So not only your girl, but a lot of these ladies are also <laughs> going to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Big fat. Hey, look. We can possibly tell you. Yes. Hey, look. He wanted the coolest motherfuckers around, but that motherfucker is terrified of him. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, let the people know your drip report, what you're walking with, and your handle. My handle, official DJ Prodigy. P R O D I 2 G G 2 E's. So that's me. You're going to find me on all platforms. Official DJ Prodigy. Uh, artist, if you need a manager that's. Don't put your needs first, holler at me. Speaker Boss will tell you, I'll get you where you need to be faster than most. Thank you. Thank you.